I've been fighting the Sigma virus for a long time. Move faster, cutscene. It is the virus that causes all Reploids to transform into Mavericks. The most dreadful virus to ever exist. Why? I wonder why I'm not harmed. Instead, I feel energy growing within my body. What on earth is happening to me? I have a bad feeling about this. That's all of the report on Zero. Zero has fought Sigma several times. I believe he has the virus antibodies. No, no, he's the carrier of the virus, Cygnus. He's the carrier, there's a difference. It's possible he doesn't react negatively to the virus. I just said he's the carrier. His power output is actually growing. For the most part, the body systems of X and Zero are mi won't remain mysteries. Yeah, they are mysterious, but just a carrier. I can't predict what will happen. I suggest you take measures. Keep this secret. I'll think it over. Yeah, nice job, leader of the year. Nothing will go wrong with that. Anyway, his power is growing with the virus. It's too dangerous to keep them loose. Please, at least do something about Zero. Before it's too late. Yes! Yes! This guy replaced HQ as leader. Very smart move, Sickness, thinking it over. And speaking of thinking, or should I say not thinking, we're reigniting the war of stupidity. By the way, welcome to part 7. I'm gonna take Zero and we're gonna go after the Skyver, the last remaining member of the Repla Force. And unlike the rest of the Repla Force, who is just downright stupid and listening to Colonel going about their, his independence and whatnot, uh, the Skyver actually is a Maverick. Or at least got infected by the virus. <coughs> oh, and if you think their whole entire battle in the last game was stupid, by the way, told you they're going to reduce that scene in Storm Owl stage. Right there, that proves it. Anyway, what I was saying, oh yes, the, uh, complete, utter stupidity of Repliforce. You see, Skyver rigged just about his entire base with bombs. Maybe to try to take out the infected Repliforce members along with him? Or maybe to prevent anybody else from being recovered, from being, uh, infected. Either way, it's not gonna do much good if you actually spread the virus within the winds instead of containing it. Like you should do with a virus. Oh, God damn it! Oh, and this is what happens when those bombs explode. See, I have the shock buffer. Had I not have the shock buffer, I would have just lost the majority of my health from that bomb. Now then. Let us go on ahead and... Whoa, whoa. Let me just first destroy this thing here. And destroy this guy. I see if I can get this guy from right here. Hey, that's what I was trying to do to the damn bomb. It wouldn't do it. Nope. Not this time. So far, that is about five, maybe four bombs. Sorry. There's at least uh six of them on this base. So yeah. The whole point is to destroy those bombs before they do some damage to you. Also, there is a, uh, W tank here. A weapons tank, actually. And I just maxed out my E tanks, but my sub tail, oh, god damn it! I was trying to get out of there before I got crushed. But anyway, I maxed out my, uh, sub tank just recently before I just got killed. So, yeah. 
And it really sucked that I got crushed there. Now, uh... We can just keep going. And you only need to destroy one turret on one side. Or one turret mech on one side. Yeah, payback's a bitch. I wanna get the other one too for trying to kill me. But I guess I could just leave. And now we come to this section, which, if I would have got the Falcon armor, I would have easily gotten the Golem armor part that's right above us. But no, I didn't. So instead, I'm gonna have to ride along this platform, and by the way, watch out for this right here. You're gonna have to... Sorry about that, had to feed my cat. Anyway, you just hug the side of the platform to where you don't go too high to hit the spikes or don't too, go too low to fall off the platform. And if you're zero, grab the Sigma Virus. Anyway, now we got two bombs left. And I want to make a correction. Zero can actually have four sub-tanks, but I'm going to only give him three because zero... There is a good chance that Zero may not be able to be playable. I'll get more on that later on, but for the time being, I would rather give Zero three sub-tanks as opposed to four because all of them should be going to X. X will be your main player probably for the rest of the game, depending on the situation. And by the way, there's the heart tank, and I just took out the last bomb, and we should be well on our way to the Skyver as soon as we clear off these platforms. And by clear off, I mean not touch them. Because after all, I don't want to be crushed again. So now, we come to Skyver, and the Skyver is a really unique fight. Bring the Dark Hole, because that's the only thing that will affect him. Okay, aside from the Crescent Slash. So, with that said, let's do this. And here comes the Skyver. I wanted to see you, Zero. I wanted to ask you something, bro. My thoughts always came back to the Colonel. I wanted to ask you if the battle between you two was necessary. It was. I mean, he kept declaring independence and threw a coup d'etat. I had to stop him! I'm not accusing you, I just wanted to know. That's all. I've already become in- no, I've already been infected by the virus. I'm destined to be retired by you once I become a maverick. So go ahead, take me down. I wanted to fight you for the colonel. That's what the colonel wanted, so come at me, bro. I understand. But I'll fight you only because this is my mission. Now, let's do it. Now, here's the thing. You want to stop uh, the Skyver with the Dark Hole and get as much shots off as you can. You can use the combo that I'm using. And, of course, the Dark Hole won't last long. Yeah, be careful, though. The Skyver has that Castlevania 2 slash Mega Man 2 knockback. And he will send you off the cliff if you're not careful. It's basically like fighting Storm Eagle. Except this guy actually will knock you off the cliff. And he's not easy. I mean, he's not easier than Storm Eagle. But. He went down after a while. So, yeah. And with that, we get the wing spiral from the Skyver. <clears throat> and the wing spiral is what uh, the Skyver just did. X will jump in the air and he'll throw a small tornado. If he charges it, he'll th throw a Shoryugan and a gigantic tornado. Oh, you'll see it in action later on. But Zero no longer has that combo now because he also gets the W Shredder, which throws a hologram at Zero as he dashes. It's sort of a uh, extended hit, but... Honestly, they should have mapped that to the special instead of the actual attack. So, what did we get from that? We got... The Burst Shot. Oh, goody. That means X can fire up to five shots at one time. 
So that's basically an X only weapon. So, with that said, we're done with the Skyfer, but we're not done with the part. You see, that's the second Maverick on this side we face. Or, in actuality, the sixth Maverick in this game we face. So take a wild guess of what's about to happen. Now, well, before I prepare myself, I gotta get me something to drink. I'll be right back. Alright, now we're here. Emergency. Dynamo has come back here to attack. What on earth does he want? Well, it doesn't matter. We have to fight him. Why did you even ask then? Seriously, sickness. But nonetheless, we have to fight Dynamo. This time, I'm fighting him with Ultimate Armor X. And this is our last encounter with Dynamo. So, he is now a little tougher, but the good news is, after you defeat Skyver, he has a weakness. The Wing Spiral. And there he is! The only thing is, he has his moves from before, except now he has a Giga Attack that you can honestly see coming from a mile away. <laughs> Otherwise, Dynamo shouldn't be this tough. Oh boy. It may not seem it, but this is my job. And since you guys are always so serious, I'm a little serious too. This time, okay? Ready to die? Okay, goddammit, the cuts, I mean, the uh, text moves so goddamn slow. But let's get the Wing Spiral nonetheless. And the only thing I hate about the Wing Spiral is, it forces X to jump. It's sort of like the top spin. But if you hit him with it, it won't take out all of your energy. But what it does is knock Dynamo to a wall. It doesn't do extra damage when he does that. However, you can also stop Dynamo's most nasty attack with that jumping sword attack that he was about to do. This one's a little bit longer than what it would be with Zero. Because Zero would just rip him to shreds. Especially, especially with the W Shredder. That's the only thing it's useful for. Come here, bitch. Sure you can! I just wanted to get that off once. Sure you can. Okay, I got it off twice. Oh god. Damn it! He stopped me in the mid of do and I don't have a uh I don't have a sub take anymore. Yeah, keep going, bitch! I got you now. You're dead. And with that, Dynamo is gone! So, you are strong. I fought seriously this time. Anyway, I'd need nine lives if I stuck with you. You mean I'm stuck with you. So I'll leave. No more games. You should think about your future. Too, or you'll die someday. Haha, <laughs> foreshadowing! I'm getting out of here, because I don't want to die, right now. Adios! Ha, foreshadowing on that line too, Dynamo! Just for the record, that's the last time you see him from this game. He'll never come back until X6. I kid you not. So with that said, X has now got an A rank. He went from B to A, nice! And also... He's got the Antivirus Guard! So, with that said... We only got four hours till Collision, and two more Mavericks to go! Next up, it's going to be Matrex. This is RPMan985. Oh god, prepare for the bullshit. See you guys next time.